Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check book from Kazimek Publishers. As usual you can find link to the review oh, here in the video description below. Click it and read text in English and Russian with detailed photos. As for the today's book, this is a new issue which is dedicated to the, as you can see, German Panzer II. It's written by David Doyle. And here we have a short note that this is a visual history of the German's army World War II light tank. Actually, this tank is famous because it's first uh, German cannon armed tank and it remained in production for quite a long time. So here you'll find quite useful photos for your projects. As you can see, for me it came wrapped into special film. So just give me a second, I will try to open it. Uh, this is a card bound book which looks quite nice. I mean, it can be even a perfect present for some modeler who likes to assemble tanks or maybe for some uh, guy who would like to know more about this tank. On the back side, as you can see here, we have picture uh, from the war, which is black and white, of course. Inside there are 168 pages and here is what we have inside, quite a nice beginning. And then we can go to the Contents page, as you can see, contents is divided according to the tank versions. So there are in total um, six, ten of them. And of course, introduction starts with development history. Then we have A version, as you can see, everything is supplied with black and white photos. And some of them can be useful for the Rama, for example, this one. Then we have B version here. Here is another nice picture. Of course, all those pictures should be useful for modern and hobby because here you would see how tank actually should be weathered, or what was used on this tank, how it was equipped, and why different solutions were applied in, uh, on this Panzer II tank. So as you can see, all those photos are black and white, of course, because it's wartime photos. There are no colored references whatsoever. But photos are really interesting, for example, this one can be also nice for diorama. It will be up to you which one you choose to use with your scale model. As I said, there are in total 168 pages. Here you can see on the last page we have a view through the rear door of the turret on the looks. And actually, looks should come handy with a recent kit from Flyhawk, which I assembled and you can find a um, link to the review article on our website, I recommend you to check it. As for the book, this is a quite nice reference guide and it can be also a nice present for the modeler who assembles tanks or just loves history. Uh, it should be available for purchase from this moment, so you can just go to the Kazimit Publishers website and order it. And for this review, that's all. Uh, I would like to thank you for watching. If you have some comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will help us. And I will see you in the next video as usual. Bye.